Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about increasing your market value while you're in college. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, great work with your videos. Thank you. I appreciate your work and it has helped me a lot the, this, the, the past few months. Well, thank you. Um, that, I feel very flattered. I asked a question before about searching for opportunities during college to increase the market value as a programmer. I have been doing some work researching and everything that I came up with has led me to two alternatives. It's either finding a job working for a company or doing some investigation as a programmer within my college. I'm assuming that this means like educating yourself or doing research or something like that. If I wanted to increase my skill, my skill level while not deprecating my future job opportunities, which alternatives should I try to follow? Well, this is for normal circumstances going to be a very easy answer and it's going to be to get a job if you can. And if you can manage that, that's great. Like the hard part is usually for a lot of junior developers to get that first job. It's the, it's the, well, it's the, it's the gatekeeper thing to do. It's the, it's the door everybody has to walk through. It's a try, the rite of passage, if that makes sense. And if you do have the luxury or benefit or good fortune to actually have a uh, an opportunity like that while you're in still in college, then that is probably the best thing that you can do. If it doesn't have to be like a, at a big company or like something super serious, it just has to be serious work. Because once you start work, you will start looking for a full time employment. The first and most important thing, most of the time, is going to be if you have relevant work experience. That's what most companies will look for first and foremost. Second after that, like the literally the thing after that is going to be do you know relevant tools? Do you know relevant languages and ecosystems and things like that? And that's a whole different thing. But that is going to be number one. So if you go into research or further educating yourself, although that is very useful, it's very seldom that this is more valuable than actual work experience because research and education is from the perspective of a lot of companies just something that you do in order to get good enough to actually do the actual work because I mean the companies that you're most likely going to work for unless you're working for a research company they're interested in people who know how to do the job and if they know that you've already done the job somewhere else that makes them feel comfortable in hiring you and that actually raises your market value now this is not a hundred percent true all the time there are exceptions to this and that would be if you research or you're involved in something that is extremely relevant for specific not specific but for certain companies an example would be data science is a very hot area these days machine learning is a very hot thing as well it's not something that every single company is going to hire but if you are interested in working in companies who deal with this sort of thing that is something that might be more relevant i mean of course in a perfect world you would already know all the theory and work in a data science company that's even more valuable but if you have to pick here then actually learning the theory and having the skills is something that is very desirable a lot of people are getting hired directly out of college for these sorts of skills because it's simply that hard it's practically I, I'm, it's practically impossible to find people who are extremely good at machine learning out in the wild. It's such a, it's a very niched, and uh, I'm not saying I don't want to say niched. Let's just say that it's a very emerging thing that is exploding in popularity, but there's simply no competency within the industry to just snipe off. Like software developers are a dime a dozen if if you compare them to experienced data scientists and machine learning experts. I'm not saying that there aren't any of those out uh, out there. There's plenty of them out there. It's just that it's there's not that many companies who use this sort of stuff, and there's not that many people to go around. So it's a it's a good investment. The same sort of thing can be said about well, if you're going to do research and educating yourself, another area would be things like DevOps. That's also a very 
popular area. And I wouldn't say that that's a research thing per se. Let's maybe dial back and say that, all right, DevOps may be, not, may be a very popular thing, but security, it's another thing that is fairly interesting to a lot of companies. If you're a security expert or you do actual research into security matters, that's something that is also a little bit more niched, but that experience and it's, it's really hard to come by. Like finding people who are really, really good at security issues is tough. So in that scenario, it might actually be, I mean, once again, it's of course better if you have a job doing that sort of stuff, but if you're going, if you're going to educate yourself, it's something that you can look into if you want to go into that niche market, uh, or into that specific part. I'm not, it's not niche. Uh, security is a big area. I'm just saying, if you want to do that sort of work, that's what you should look at. But what I would like you to, I want to highlight this as much as humanly possible. If your goal is to be a software developer and just that uh, you're not looking to be something very specific if you w just want to raise your market value as a software developer bec then doing actual work is going to be the best thing for you i hope that uh, makes sense makes sense so what i want you to take away from this is that if you're looking to increase your market value as a software developer and you're in college if you have the opportunity to actually do real real work, even if it's a freelancing thing or if, if you get a part-time thing at some company, that is probably the easiest way for you to raise your market value, apart, of course, from learning relevant tools. But the job is practically always going to be more valuable to you. On the other hand, if you do decide to go into educating yourself and you want that to correlate into market value, then usually the thing that you're looking for is to educate yourself in areas that are high value. These would be things such as the sort of thing that most developers don't know how to do. Very specific companies use this sort of competency and they're on the hunt for these sorts of people. That would be things such as data science, machine learning, things of this nature, and like DevOps, it's a bigger thing, it's getting to be, a, be a, a much bigger thing than it used to be, but it's exploding. And lastly, like things such as security, for example. These are the sorts of trend areas that you can go into and study really hard these days and get, re like get a really, really big return on investment. Uh, it may not always be a the best thing for you because as I said if you want job stability and like be able to just go and work wherever being a just boring old software developer is many times a very good investment but if you are into this sort of these sorts of areas it's also a very good thing to research them and get really good at them because people will pay you quite a lot of money if you're good at it have a great day